Hi everyone, and welcome to a quick video telling you how to unlock the new weapon, the Gutter, and whether or not this is something you want to rush to grab, or is better left in its namesake. So, to unlock this unique Assault from Blade, you'll need to head over to Harper's Ferry and look for a couple of new map markers, each of these being a manhole cover that leads to the Burrows, a new underground location that was added to Fallout 76 today. Heading down either entrance will give you a similar experience, that of finding a dead Brotherhood soldier with a holotape on them. Listen to the holotape and the quest Waste Management will begin. The quest will have you making your way through the sewer system, fighting off ghouls and rats as you do so. Often the biggest challenge of the sewer system is navigating your way around, as plenty of the tunnels will take you in circles. There are quest markers present throughout, though, which will help you to stay somewhat on track. Eventually you will come across a locked door, requiring the burrow's old tunnel key to unlock it. The key is in the throne room of the sewers, a name which I only now realise the joke of. To find this room, put your back against the locked door and travel right. You'll pass a set of wooden gates to your left and go into a wooden shack which contains the throne. The key is just next to it, on a bedside table. After this small challenge, it's simply a case of pushing forwards, unlocking another door by turning a valve and slaying some robots. At the end of a dungeon is a security assault run, which you'll need to kill to complete the quest. Doing this grants you the reward of the gutter, the unique assault run blade that you all came here for. And just as a side note, Time-wise, you should be able to do this in about half an hour-ish, maybe four to five minutes. It's not a particularly long dungeon, even if you're going through fairly slowly and getting lost like we were. Now, on to whether or not this weapon is any good. In short, not really. It's not a terrible weapon, I guess, but it just feels a little underwhelming. For an Assault Run Blade, it is good, but the problem there is that Assault Run Blades aren't really all that strong. You can of course have the electrified mod to this to increase its damage, but even then this isn't going to blow you away. If you specifically want to use an Assault from Blade, then this is worth picking up, but if you're just looking for a strong melee weapon, you're probably going to get much better random stuff from legendaries. This does count as a unique, and it does have the effect of regenerating uh, health on a melee hit, but as you can see from the footage, it's not a lot of health, it's, it's basically a vampire's Assault from Blade that's got a slight damage improvement. It's nothing amazing, unfortunately. And that's it. Really, that is it. Complete the quest and you'll get the blade. As this was so quick, I figure I've got enough time to give you a couple more snippets of info. First is that there's a free Easter egg being given away daily in the Atom Shop. Log in each day and claim it in order to get a free prize at the end of a week. No idea what the prize will be, but I'm certainly curious to see what will happen once I've got each of the seven daily eggs. Those of you who appreciated this being a nice short guide, please leave a like on the video to let me know. Also, make sure to subscribe for more Fallout content. I actually have a very special Fallout project starting on Sunday, so I'd recommend everyone watching also turns on notifications, as it's really not something you want to miss out on. As always though, thanks for watching. Sarge out.